So this is the beautiful tray that I did the other day, a few days ago. And I said it was quite an undertaking and that's because the mold, for some reason, stuck. Some of the mold stuck to the sides. It didn't just pop out. So what I had to do was, see that white? That's, that's part of it. But I took my Dremel tool here and sanded, sanded all around. See, sand it all around. And also the back is gorgeous. Back is just gorgeous. It hasn't been epoxied yet. So that's my next step is to epoxy. Whoa, isn't that beautiful? Wow. So you can use it as a geode. I can use it as a geode if I want to, or as a tray. But the first thing I had to do was smooth out these edges, which I did. They're all nice and smooth now. It was quite an undertaking. And it's, it's finally, it took, it took uh, five days for this to stop bending. When, when I would push it, I'd feel it still had a little leeway. So I think it's finally got to the point where it has stopped bending but I'm gonna let it sit flat for another two or three days, maybe longer. And um, when it stops, when it has absolutely no, no give to it, then I will epoxy the back, which I think is worth epoxying because it's really beautiful. And when I epoxy the back, it's going to really make a huge difference in the way this looks. I mean, it's pretty matte, flat, but when it's given the epoxy, I'll be able to use it as a geode. So what do I do with the mold? What do I do with the molds that um, seem to have a problem? Well, I had to ask myself, why do the molds stick to the sides? Because I didn't have that problem with the other ones. And the only thing I could think of is, and wait for the mold to dry long enough so it adhered itself to the sides. Um, and also, I usually use a white silicone to use to put this. I bought a clear one, and it made like all the difference in the world. So I'll show you what I did. What you're seeing is the white mold that I had made that had stuck to parts of my, epo my epoxy when I poured. So what I did was I got clear, the clear one, and ran it all along the sides here, and then you use a little soap and water, dish soap and water, and you smooth it on. You just smooth it on. And I'm hoping what this does is create a much smoother, and less uh, stickability mold. Because I really love the si size of this mold. I also built it up where I had the arrow where it was a little low. You also, um, I also cut away parts that were too thick. Because it, the straighter, the straighter the the wall is, the better it is for popping out. And, and making a nice smooth edge. So that's what I did to all my other molds that I made myself was put this epoxy instead with the gun and with the uh, epoxy, with the silicone gun, cork gun. I'll get it right. And build up the wall where it was a little low. And it's pretty, it's, it's always gonna be a little rubbery, this stuff. But I'm gonna, before I reuse this mat, this, I mean, this mold, I'm gonna let it sit for at least a week. And I think that was part of the problem, was I used it too soon, even though it felt like it had been fixed, fixed, that it fixated, it wasn't really. So that's keeping you up to date on how to make a mold. It's on a silicone mat, which you can order on Amazon, they're really cheap. 
And of course, the cork on the cork gun is really cheap. And a you know a mold this large, this is pretty big. I haven't measured it yet, but it's it's pretty big, at least 15 inches. Um, by maybe I don't know, maybe this way it's 12, the highest point 12 by 15, 17. So it's a pretty big geode shape for a geode. I could just use it as a geode and not as a a tray at all. But um, that's what we had to do. It was quite a quite a job, but I love how it turned out. Thanks for watching, and you can probably see this on uh, YouTube and subscribe if you like my channel. Bye.